Hello, Gamer Nom is back, and in this video, we're going to do pirate raid for 24 hours. And as a twist, we're going to use every fruit drop that we get in defeating pirates. So, are you ready, guys? But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to me, and this will really help us on making better videos. Where the actor slam oh, there yes. is. forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. On our previous video, remember guys the 24 hour factory raid? In the end of the video, I ask you, should I continue raiding factories or do the pirate raid? And you've responded. I checked the comment section and everyone wants me to do pirate raids. So guys, so here you are. Let's go. Let's head to the third sea and start doing pirate raids. So Gamer Gnome, how do you start it? So aside from going to the third sea, we need to head to the castle on the sea, this one. And guys, take note, the pirate raid will start every 1 hour and 15 minutes server time, okay? So if you're in a private server, the moment that you enter the server, the countdown will start, okay? So we're gonna use every fruit that we get from every raid. So guys, are you ready? Let's just start. So first off, we're gonna start with spike fruit. And just in case we're having a hard time, we're gonna use our fight style the death step, okay? Okay, so guys, there you go. Spike fruit. My favorite skill is this one, the spiky ball. Not bad. <laughs> For the first skill, spike summon. Here it is. Not bad. Also, the spike barrage. There you go. Oh, I haven't shown you the whirlwind. This is the whirlwind. There you go. You also need to aim properly to hit your skills. <laughs> Missed that one. <laughs> but anyway, guys, do you think Spike Fruit now is really good? Comment it on the comment section. And if you want me to make a max level, comment it on the comment section, okay? Hope that we get a good fruit. Oh, guys, light fruit. Not bad. <laughs> so we're gonna eat this now and wait for another 1 hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so now here we go for our second set of pirate raids. Guys, please don't ask if light is good. <laughs> Guys, light is really, really good for grinding. Why gamer nom? Guys, this fruit has M1. There you go, left clicks. Which is, I mean, really good, guys. <laughs> and it is also elemental, log effect. It's really fast. The cooldown of the skills, really short. There you go. And also AoE damage. So if you're looking for a fruit that's good for grinding and raiding bosses, light fruit is really good, okay? Okay, for our next fruit, ah. Oh, no! Yellow fruit. Hmm. Okay, let's make this fast, guys. <laughs> let's eat this fruit. And for our 3 hours and 45 minute raid. So for the kilo fruit, it has 4 skills. First is the light 10. Yeah, there you go. The flight skill. Next up, we have the 50,000 kilogram skill. 20,000 kilogram and 10,000 kilogram. Basically, this fruit will just make you a way less or higher to damage your enemies. It is kinda weak, so we're gonna use our death step. I really don't like the kilo fruit <laughs> to finish this. For our next fruit, guys, the spring fruit. Hmm. This fruit had a revamp, so let's try it. There you go. So first off, we got spring cannon, that one. For the X skill, we got the spring snipe, this one, and for the V skill, the spring emperor. This one, V skill, there you go. Z skill is the knock. That one. <laughs> Okay, so guys, don't forget the spring lip, F skill, and that's it. Guys, this fruit is kind of good, but the problem is, there you go, it's short range, which means there's a high chance that you will get damage. Okay, so for the fruit drop, we got the love fruit. Okay, I kind of like this fruit, so let's try it out. Okay, pirates are raiding. Let's start. So first, skill is the mellow heart. C skill is the irresistible attraction. X skill is one of the best, are also imprisonment because it is long range. Again, if you are short range and you're fighting lots of enemies with different skills, there is a high chance that you will get damage. For the V skill, the scented kick, that one, probably your best skill for single target or boss fights. There you go. Okay. So I think that's it. All in all, guys, it's really good because it has a mini stun to every enemy. Next up. Alright, not bad guys, we got the ice fruit. Okay, so for the ice fruit, one good thing, it is Logia effect. It has good skills aside from the ice surge. We also have the V skill, the glacial epoch, and let's not forget the ice bird. 
So this skills can stun the enemy. Also, the best thing is it has M1 left clicks, just like the light fruit. Okay, so we're gonna defeat this with M1. Next up, oh, falcon fruit. Guys, I really hate this fruit. <laughs> So let's just throw it or store it. Sorry guys, I really don't like using this one. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use the ice fruit again, but I'm gonna just make it fast for everyone. Next up, the spike fruit. Hmm, we're done with this, right? So just like what happened with the ice fruit, we're gonna fast forward this one. There you go, Eating skills. Okay, guys, next up, the bomb fruit. This is very interesting because it has really good skills. First up is the landmine. Again, we're fighting lots of pirates. So let's make them step on the landmines, guys. This is really cool. Plus the self-destruct. Whoa, there you go, guys. Check that damage. Again, we're gonna plant lots of landmines for them to step on. Check the damage, 29, 37,000. <laughs> for those who don't know, I have a video of level one to max using the bomb fruit. So if you haven't watched it yet, check the video in the channel. So for the fruit, Next up, the chop fruit. Mm, I haven't made a video of this one, right? Like the rework, 1 to 700. So let's check the skills first, okay? Okay, so let's go. So first, we have the helicopter. The F skill, there you go. It really looks cool. Next up, let's try the exit the dance. Okay, not bad, guys. Multi-target. Next up, party, guys. One of the best skills for this fruit. This is so good that you can even compare it to the rush of the rubber fruit right but the problem is guys short range most of the skills so you might really get hit check that out guys i almost died <laughs> anyway guys all in all if you get used to this fruit this one is really good so if you want me to make a video of that feel free to comment it on the comment section so for our next fruit oh smoke fruit one of the best fruits so far guys i'm telling it to you I haven't used it yet in a raid, but I'm recommending it now. For my favorite skill, the Smoke Blast X skill, guys, it can damage and stun the enemies. Again, one more time, there you go. The damage is not low. It's really good, guys. Also, it blends well. Good combination with the Smoke Liberation plus the Smoke Bomber. Guys, check this out. One of the best F skills. So, guys, do you think, should we make a 1 to max using Smoke Fruit? Again, comment it on the comment section. One of the best fruits so far. Next up, Kilo Fruit. Oh, let's just store it, guys. I really don't want to use it. So again, we're going to use Smoke Fruit again, but let's make it fast. There you go. So next up, oh, Bomb Fruit. Mm. Sadly, we're done with it, but I like this fruit, so we're going to eat it. <laughs> Gamer, no, you're kind of biased. But guys, I'm just going to make it fast, okay? So we can proceed. Or go to our next fruit. Guys, check that out. Landmines. The enemy's gonna step on it. And we're gonna watch it explode. There you go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, guys. Quake fruit. But check this out. It's lagging. I cannot see my quake fruit. First, I thought I got disconnected. But no, guys. It's just lagging or a visual glitch. So let's eat this. And check it out. Boom. Quake fruit. Okay, guys, so let's use it. I'm excited about the dual tsunami. I'm not sure, but I think the internet connection is a problem during this recording part because, check that out, damage is late. See that, guys? 23k, but the waves are gone. So I think I was not able to record it properly, but still, the damage is really good. But if you're gonna ask me, I prefer the bomb or the smoke fruit. So next up, we got the ice fruit, so we're gonna eat this. And yes, I prefer this compared to the quake fruit. We're just gonna use our left clicks to finish it fast. Just like the light fruit, it has M1 skills. And add the other skills, the ZXC. And this fruit will be really good, right? Okay, guys, I haven't mentioned that it has awakening too. So maybe next time, oh, guys, finally a mythical fruit, the phoenix fruit. We're gonna use the V1, okay? V1. So let's go. Pirate raid. But guys, the sad thing is that you can only use your C and Z skill to damage the cannon in the fast kick. X skill has no damage. If you're looking for a damage type of Phoenix Fruit, choose the Awakened one, okay? The V2. There you go. So next up, we got the Door Fruit. Guys, let's be honest. This fruit is really bad for damaging. So we're just gonna start it. And head 
to Blox Fruit's cousin to get a random fruit. What? Guys, we get the magma fruit! One of the best fruits for grinding. Again, one of the best fruits for grinding. You only need to unlock the Z skill. Awaken, I mean, awaken. There you go. Magma floor is really good. Check it out. It is enough to defeat them. There you go. But guys, you haven't seen the awakened Z skill yet. The magma shower. And I'm going to show it to you. Just one Z skill is enough to destroy all these mobs. <laughs> Check that out, guys. One Z skill. Again, this is Z skill. We have the V skill X and Z C. I mean, Z skill to add more damage in stun. So, guys, if you're looking for a fruit that is good for raiding and boss fights, Magma Fruit is one of the best at par with Light and Buddha Fruit. Okay? Oh, guys, we got another Phoenix Fruit. So, we're just gonna leave it here. Oh. Lots and lots of phoenix fruits. <laughs> now we're gonna use the magma fruit again and defeat the final mob slowly using the magma floor. There you go. Okay. Next up, the barrel fruit. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. We're gonna use it. We're gonna eat it. There you go. So, guys, if you're looking for a cool fruit to use, I can suggest the barrier fruit. That's a Z skill, barrier wall. Next up is the Barrier Towers. Guys, it's really good. There you go. We also have the Surprise Attack. And for the last skill, the Barrier Prison. I think they revamped this skill, this single skill. I don't know. Please help me figure it out. Comment it in the comment section if there are changes. Shout out to all those Barrier Fruit users. I'm not sure. There you go. So for our fruit, oh, Rubber Fruit. Not bad, right? For our final fruit. So let's eat it up and start raiding. Let's transform first. Let's remember what I told you a while ago, the skill rush. Wait. Check our feet, guys. <laughs> Didn't change the legs, the feet. Anyway, guys, the rush. Check it out. Check that damage. And if you're not aware yet, I made a video of using gum fruit 1 to max. So guys, if you haven't watched it, check the channel for that. Okay, so there you go. So what fruit will we get for our last raid? Let's finish it up. Choose the rush. After that, let's try the smash. There you go. Oh, I haven't shown you the cannon yet. Cannon, boom, and the slingshot. Okay, boom. One more cannon and this is done. Okay, so for our final fruit, we got the flame fruit. So I think guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, do you want me to continue this? Or do you have a challenge? Just comment it on the comment section. Again, this is GamerNom. See you on my next video. GamerNom out.